Good afternoon, good evening, my folks. Uh, hi, yeah. Uh, one more time again, I'm here in front of this camera, man. So I want to talk to y'all. Yo, Denver Bronco, what do you think? None of your business, no. They, they might not be in the Super Bowl. Um, not a fan, really. But you know, I, I'm more like a Philadelphia Eagles fan. But like I told you, I mean, I have many hats. All the basketball hat, all the football hats. So I wear a hat every day. So I'm a fan of the sports. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sports fan. So I like sports. You know what I mean? Anything that has sports into it, I like it. Don't I look up? Don't, don't I look like I'm getting drafted today? Man? Like um, I'm getting drafted by the Denver Broncos. You know? Suit my Denver Broncos hat. You know? But I'm here for a different purpose. So, so let's talk. So um, my main purpose to be here today is we're gonna talk politics, man. So I love politics as much as I love the gospel, and you know I am. I like the dirty politics, you know, so I, I, I listen out just way, and I, I like to put my mouth in things when I see things uh, going on around, so when I see things are not right, so I like to bring clarity, so that's why my channel is a channel of education and God word. So let's go to Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the of the deep, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So, let's talk about earth and creation, man. So, the earth we, that we're living in, Bible tells us in Genesis one that God created heaven and the earth. So, in creation, I did not see where God created a white man, a black man. And I didn't see where God made a black man inferior or a white man superior. So God created man in his likeness. So we all equal creation of God. But um, since uh, after creation, there was a little rebellion. And in the garden, so that bring sin, that bring all kind of chaotic things into the earth including racism so ever since there's been people that think they better than other group of people so in this modern age there's this group of people that think they're better than than people like me that are brown skin those white people they think they're better so they think they're better in they think they, they think they are more intelligent they think they are <laughs> the superior race but on those people they're living in illusion man so they I can say the quick with the local because as far as I see as far as I'm concerned I can see that they are very bright black men they are very dumb black men they are very bright white men they are very dumb as hell white men they are very bright Hispanic they are very dumb Hispanic so they are very bright Asian they are very dumb Asian so the main reason I, I want to talk today is about um Joe Biden wanting to nominate a black woman in the supreme court and as he made his intention known and you you you've seen and hear all kind of negativity going around the country going around the nation in fox news especially in all those um so-called conservative um radio talk shows and uh, there's uh, even that law prof professor in um in uh, that school, I, I forgot the name, that even called a black woman lesser black woman. That Joe Biden wanted to um, nominate a lesser black woman. Yo, man, I'm, I, I want to tell you right now, you sound very, very racist. So I believe that you, you just, you just a hateful person. You just jealous that he want to nominate a, a black woman. So when you look at at, at the U.S. Supreme Court, anyway. The court is the, the court is, is filled up white men and white women, lesser white men and lesser white women. So it's all of you sitting in there. So nobody say anything. And and that uh, Clarence Thomas, that man, I, I don't know why they have him in court, but you know he's a prophet. And 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 very recently they broke over my um nominated um that Hispanic woman. So so 
and I and I and, I, and I'm I'm clapping for Joe Biden. I'm behind him. So I think it's time to make the U.S. Supreme Court look like the nation, look at the population, so where we can get better justice, fair justice, equal justice for all. So that's why in this nation we don't have equal justice. So when you go to court, you have all these white men sitting in there, and you know, they 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 discriminating against you and they're giving you a very heavy uh, uh, sentences. You have all these white cops running around, they're profiling you and they're stopping you for anything and they're looking for ways to to uh, to, 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 to put criminal record on, on, on you so they can put like a barrier in your life so, so they can limit you. So I think it's time for every office in the nation to be as much uh, multiracial than than it is than than the nation is so that's why i'm looking forward for that for the u.s senate and, and the house to um ratify that what whoever that that nominee may be a black woman i'm looking forward for that woman to be sitting in the u.s supreme court and i'm telling you uh, all those go crazy talk going around it's just because they they're afraid because they know black women are very intelligent and the strong and that's why we that's why we 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 survive your atrocity because um slavery was 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 a worth thing if we survive this nation we survive our slavery we survive, we survive jim core we survive all, all the civil rights era we survive all those police brutalities because that we strong people we survive all those um you trying to to put drugs in our community, put disease in our community. We survive all that because that we're strong people. And you are afraid of strong, intelligent people. And because there's one, nominally one black person, woman in, this, in the Supreme Court, I don't see what the problem is. Because we are all American. You are not more American than, 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 than we black people are. So let's, let's go back to the foundation of this nation. Before your Caucasian came over here in in in, in the land, in the so-called land we call here now America, the USA, the New World, it was the Indian that were living here. And those people they were not white; they were like brown and red-skinned people. And when you when when you when you watch it in shore, your 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 men uh, your men your your men direction was to go into India, India in Asia trying to use use it a different ride and the wind blew the, the wrong direction and then uh, the wind brought you up over here in the american shore and then those people the indian they receive you with open hands they uh, they welcome you they, they fed you they give you water they welcome you they they, they they close you they give you a home to stay and then in turn as greedy as you are as white people you murder all the indian you put them in slavery you you to, to the to the point of extermination you put them to hard labor on top of them welcoming you giving you all a, a lot of stuff they have and you murdered them and ever since you you, you you've been on, on a murder spree trying to murder almost everybody in the world just to steal whatever they have you go all over the world try to conquer the whole world murder people spread diseases around trying to kill people just to steal what they have and then you have the nerve and trying to say uh, trying to tell people go back where go back there go back there go back there go back to africa go back to asia go back to wherever so why don't you you people start packing up and go back to freaking europe because that's where y'all came from because as far as concerned there were no 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 no, no blue hair brown blue hair uh, uh, soft hair, blue eyes, green eyes, soft hair people living here in, in this land. It was mostly, it was all brown people living here. So they welcome you, you murder them, you put them in slavery. And then, and then black people were already here living here uh, uh, around the, the America, especially in, in Brazil, because Brazil and Africa is not that far. Black merchants were already traveling from Africa uh, to Brazil to do commerce. They were they were not there to murder to murder to murder the Indian. They were there for business. They were they were civilized people. They were there to for, to do business and then go back to Africa. But you all came here as a as wild animal. You murdered murdered all the Indians, stole their land, 
and then try to tell people uh, to go back there to go back there to go back there so why don't you start packing up and go back to europe and then we'll follow it and, and, and we'll go back where we came from so the african they were already here to do commerce they were not here to murder people they were civilized people friendly people um and then and then you after you kill all the and you 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 you, you went to africa and 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 the and, and and the african were already in war among themselves the one they were they were that were in captivity they sold them to you and then you brought them over here and try to and and enslave them for so long and and it was it was even you were even lucky enough that you were you 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 you, you, you made it alive out of the shores of africa that nobody murdered you in africa because there's there's no way you could have gone to Africa and and, and kidnap people and, and bring them here or, 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 or to to slave them. It's because the Africans sold sold themselves to you. That's why this was possible. That's why this was able to happen. But since the foundation of this country, we were here. We built this country from ground up. We built this country, and, and since day one, you've been so unfair to us. You try to put all kind of obstacles on our way to prevent us from, from rising. This part, is, this part is all. We rise, we rise, we rise. And still today, even even if there's no slavery, but it, your, law, your law enforcement officers, your, your courts, your judges, your lawyers, a bunch of racists, and they're sitting around giving the young black men longer sentence then then what they would have they would give to like a, 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 to, a to a white man they call a black man with a gun you, you you might get life and then the white man with color with a gun get probation how does it how how does this is equal justice that's why we need a we need a, we need a black woman sitting in the supreme court so 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 the american justice can be a, a fair justice not a biased justice you have all the ku klux Klan people trying to and saturated law enforcement you have them that go that you have a lot of ku klux in in the force that don't identify themselves as as ku klux Klan, but they are ku klux Klan. and then they are the profiling black people trying to find any kind of way to put criminal record on you they stop you for no reason they search your car for no reason and when people see that you they pull you over, people might, might might think that you've done something wrong. Sometimes they just put you pull you over for no reason. And this has been going on for so long, and the government has been sitting on all this wrong, on all this atrocity, and let it go on. I think it, it's time for the, all those things to stop. It's time for all those things to happen. And I know we as a people, we 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 can make it. We can stop it, and we're gonna get there. It's a matter of time slowly by slowly we're gonna get there your murder mortality king just because you're, you didn't you, you didn't want us to have freedom you didn't want have to, they, to have the right to vote right now republican trying to, to steal our, our right to vote again and it's time for for us people to, to stay awake awake all the time because if you go to sleep one minute, you know you might you might find yourself again with Donald Trump back in office. That's something that 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 I hope to God that that will never never ever happen again in this nation. Donald Trump in office. And that's why I'm telling you, every one of single one of you that that is turning 18, the first thing you should do when you once you turn 18 is to go register to vote. So next election in 2024 and the midterm in in 2022 you need to get out there and vote in mass in big numbers to put people in office that that are gonna legislate fairly that they're gonna legislate uh, for the nation that as we are a multi-racial nation a nation that include and welcome everybody america is not a white nation this is not your land. You stole the land from the Indian. You murdered all the Indian. And that's why this is not your land. Your land is Europe. 
So if you want to tell people to go back somewhere else, you need you say you need to start packing up and go back to Europe because America is the land of the people. And in Genesis 1 told me that God created America. In the beginning, I didn't see a white man created America. God created the land of America. So America is the land for everybody and everybody is welcome in this land. Act per the Indian, the people that, that, that own the land since the beginning. May God bless you. Don't you be afraid you know, get your, to get yourself into politics. People might tell you that uh, politics, politics is, is dirty. Christians don't get involved in politics. I'm telling you, you need to get into politics. If you like to run for office, run for office. Become an activist. Become um, uh, a vigil person in, in your neighborhood. You know, this is how you change society. By sitting back on the sideline and watching and waiting, things will never change. You know, how I, I, I wonder how, how, how America would have been today. If my talented king, Rosa Park, all those people did not stand up for the right. Did not stand up. Did not say, I'm not getting on that bus. I'm sitting on that bus. I'm going to get arrested. If my talented king, he knew that they, they were going to murder him. But you know, he stood up for West, for, for the generation, for future generation. That's why we, to the generation, we need to stand up. For our future generation, for our children, for our children, children, and for the future that we we, we don't know it. For, for future, for future like 100, 200 years down the road, we need to speak up. We need to uh, we need to act up. So, this land, this country can be a better land for all, a fair land, a fair society for all. We're all. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter what your background is, so you can have a fair shot in society. So your skin did, does not disqualify you uh, to get a position, to get a job. So your skin does not qualify you to sit on the Supreme Court. Let's stand up. Don't you give up. Don't you dare discourage. Because the day that you give up is the day that you lose the battle. Let's fight this battle until the end of the of the war. This is our fight. We don't stop fighting until God comes back Himself. Until next time, people, may God bless you. Remember, I love you. God love you. You know. If I don't talk to you again before Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. You know. Celebrate your loved ones, celebrate your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whomever that you love. Remember, love is God. Love is a woman and a woman. Love is not, love is not whatever society try to describe it as. No. Love is not two men, love is not two women. Love is a man and a woman. And love is God. And God is love. So therefore, you cannot change the definition of love. And let's follow God, not society. Because we are in this world and not of the world. Until next time, folks. May God bless you. And you stay focused. And stay work. Goodbye, Denver Bronco. Who do you think going to win the Super Bowl? I'm going with Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati Super Bowl champion, man. It's bigger. Pick up the Cincinnati Bengals. And God bless you. Goodbye.